When you find an anti-scout target in Lords Mobile, you have to ask yourself that question, right? Are you going to release your inner lion and take that target on, whether you get captured or not? Or ask the other question, will you be a pussy and run away and live to fight another day? Well, I'm taking on anti-scout targets today, guys. Let's see how I do. What's going on guys? It's your boy Worthy Prince coming at you with another Lord's mobile video and today guys as the intro suggested I'm going after some anti-scout targets. Now before we start don't forget to give that thumbs up guys hit that like button and don't forget to hit subscribe. Okay moving into our first target target number one we've got Endorphin TR a 414 million might castle with 36 million kills respectively in Monster Hunt gear. Alright cool now when I I set on this target, Florida boy from FLO came over, so I got him to set a rally as well. This way we can get the target zeroed even quicker. I don't know how many troops are in there, so it's nice to have that backup rally. FLO, of course, a TWK family. And if you're interested in getting in on the fun, guys, hit up FLO and R4 will give you an interview. I think it's 400 million plus. But anyway, the first rally is going in from myself. I'm switching to my range gear and I'm about to hit. Am I going to burn it? And... Yes, I do! Let's get it! <laughs> so, nice. That's pretty cool. You know, you don't know what to expect when you hit an anti-scout target. If there's going to be troops or not, it seems like there is troops. He's down to 349. Let's check out the report. 3.9 million red deads. Oh my goodness. In cavalry wedge! Oh, it's a dream come true on that hit. Going into the in-depth report, you can see he's got a good amount of tier 4. Well, I mean, he did have, and it, what he's lacking here is tier 2s. You know, he really does need more tier 2s. Looks like he's almost like a cavalry reinforcement trap. Oh, this is not going to bode well as Florida Boy now comes in with his rally. This should be the finishing hit. Here it comes, and bosh, there it is. And he's down to 297. Now, I think he might have had a few troops left over. Um, because I think Florida Boy set cavalry. And what with it being in cavalry wedge, I think he probably had range at the back. <laughs> so he went into some range. But, you know, nonetheless, 2.6 million red deads. You know, just not enough troops to deal with that, even though it was a counter. Good job, Florida Boy. And literally seconds later, he shielded. Wow. Oh my goodness, and this is why a teamwork it makes the dream work, guys, because, you know, if Florida didn't come over and set that rally and hit a few seconds after me, then this guy would have shielded and got away with all those troops. But luckily enough, we managed to zero him and get the leader, and yeah, the, the clutch shield, right? <laughs> you always gotta laugh when it happens just a few seconds after, the emojis going up, oh my goodness. I feel sorry for him. Good luck with the rebuild, bro. Moving on to target number two. Now, we might as well carry on, right? Look at this guy, Len. 520 in war gear. 753 million kills. I mean, that, I don't know. That might put some people off. And, you know, I was a bit worried. But we are going to go in for the double rally. You can see that KM have also come over because they've seen us rallying. On the hope, maybe, that we're gonna, they're going to get some kills. You notice they haven't actually set a rally yet. They're just watching to see what happens. Because, like I said, this guy looks sketchy. And if we both get capped and do no damage, then, you know, they're not going to want to send a rally in, of course. So... We're gonna wait and see what happens. Uh, they're on the, they're on the, they're on the poach, but it's okay. We got 15 seconds or 10 seconds even until our rallies go. Now the thing is, Florida didn't fill his rally. I know he's about 300,000 troops short on his rally, so I'm a little bit concerned for that one. But they're starting to march in right now. We're gonna put the range gear on again. Florida's gonna hit first. He gets capped. Oh my goodness! I'm going in for the second one. Can I rescue him? Yes, I can. Let's get it. <laughs> Milk and cookies for you, Len. He's down to 430 million might. Let's check out that battle report and four million red deads. Ooh. Um, yeah, that was a that was a nice hit. <laughs> cavalry wedge! Oh my god, cavalry wedge for the win, guys. Check that out. That was an absolute whopper. Um, really, really good hit. And yeah, like, he had a lot of troops. Uh, not enough tier 2 again, and he got clapped. I did try to do the solo after, but unfortunately, Kill'em Muppets did go in and steal the leader. 
which is always nice, you know, you don't, you don't want to rally, you don't want to do anything but come over and steal the leader, okay, 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 I mean, some people do it, it's fine, we don't care, we got the kills, we got the troops, and that's all we really care about, so, put my speed gear back on, as you can see, I was going in with infantry, and look at, you can see the hit above where Florida got capped, um, I mean, he still managed to get like 1. Was it 1.5 million troops? So he had about 8 million troops at target. Pretty good stuff. Now, before we get to the next like big target, I just want to show you this. Now, this guy had anti scout, and he's 90 odd million might, but his stats and everything kind of made me feel like he was a solo trap. Okay, I mean, you can just. My spidey sense was going off, guys, alright? So I goes over there and I sent a 200,000 tier 2 march in with heroes in, okay? And he capped it. And I was like, okay, well, this guy's got troops, okay? So I'm going to set a rally. I just feel like it's a, a, a bit of a nasty solo trap. So I go ahead and set the rally. 10 seconds to go until my rally goes in. And I'm expecting this to be an absolute whopper, you know? You know what it's like when you rally a solo trap, guys? It's, you know, they're full of tier 2. You can absolutely get a real big hit. So I'm going in with the range. I'm going to hopefully do massive damage here. I'm waiting for that yellow flashing light at the top. Is it going to come? No, it doesn't. Oh, okay. So this guy. Funny enough, this guy was empty. So I check out the report and I'm like, okay. Well, I mean, how did he cap my 200,000 tier 2 with heroes with a 2,291 wall? Like, I'm, I'm confused and I haven't seen the bottom bit here. Look. Garrison troops in battle. Garrison troops, you engaged. <laughs> the defeat is when I sent 200,000 troops, and the victory is when the rally hit. And I still haven't realized it at this point. I'm like, okay, never mind, never mind, all right, whatever. And then a few seconds later, I checked my prison, and I was like, hang on a minute. Why is I'm Lidu in my prison? Who is that? Like, who is this guy? What? Garrison tr captured leader? 340, 30, 54,000 troops? 16 million? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm Leo! Oh my god, look at this guy! Three mythic cups, we got champion gear! What? <laughs> I capped his ass on the uh, garrison. I don't know what he was doing. Like, I, I sent a pure tier 4, tier 5 uh, rally. I mean, he put tier 5, tier 4 garrison in with his leader. On an empty castle! <laughs> and uh, yeah, he got capped. He got capped. He lost his leader for a few days. Um, I actually executed it, I think. Or they might have pardoned two days later, I don't know. But I definitely know I held that for a couple of days. And he messaged me saying release. And I messaged him back saying burn me. <laughs> I ain't releasing it. Hell no! Come and burn me if you want your leader back. Alright, moving on to the final target of this video. Now, I always say the best bits will last, right? Um... Now, I'm not going to edit this like I did the last few clips I've shown you. I'm just going to let this run through like in real time, so to speak. Because this, this is something else, this, right? So I find, <laughs> I find this castle sitting over here, this 30 degrees guy, right? And I'm just setting up at the moment, guys. You know, formation, all that kind of stuff. You know, talents. I'm going to hit him in range again because, you know, I love my range. He's 428 million might, right? And he's an anti-scout. Now, this is real dodge because I've never seen this guy on shield before, right? And he's got all these other degrees, castles behind him. Like, I don't know whether they're farms and alts, but that is concerning. When you see an anti-scout target like this in front of a bunch of alts that are his name as well, you know, he might have some troops. So I'm going to do a test hit first. Just send some tier 2 at him and see what happens. And he smokes. And they get capped. Okay, cool. So this guy's got troops. He's got troops. There's something in there. There's something in this castle, right? So I'm like, all right, okay. Well, let's just load up. And as you can see, I'm Overlord in this kingdom right now, which is pretty cool. This is the previous kingdom we just came from. I know. I've been holding on to this clip for like three weeks, and I still haven't posted it. Like a lot of other stuff I've still got to post. But, you know, it is what it is. I just kind of post it when I feel I've got some content that goes with it kind of thing. You know? Anywho, I'm letting the guys know he's got troops. Like, this guy has got something in there. I know I'm going to hit something. They start reinforcing him. I know, right? When Chinese guilds start reinforcing targets, you've you got to be careful. <laughs> I'm just saying, you got to be careful. There's a chance this thing's going to cap you if they start reinforcing. Um, they start reinforcing troops. I'm just sending back some troops that were sent wrong. Um, just making sure my rally's correct while I'm watching what's going on. You can see arrows coming from the left-hand side. We've got 40 degrees that's just gone ahead and put troops in. Hmm. 
Okay, how many reinforcements is he going to get? How many reins is he going to get? And, you know, what I'm with regards to this target, guys, a lot of people in this situation rallying over 400 million anti-scout target that's now getting reinforced would cancel the rally. A lot of people would. A single rally, I mean, ew, it's sketchy, right? But this is what I'm talking about with the intro. Don't be a pussy. Don't. Find your inner lion and go for it. Like, literally, just go for it. Because what's the worst that can happen? You lose your leader for a couple of days? Ah, uh, so what? <laughs> just just go for it, guys, and see, you know, you never know. You might hit something really interesting. Um, or, I mean, I mean, you might get capped, but, you know. Anywho, look, more rain's coming in. Shogun Q coming in with the rain. So far, he's got only two. So I'm, st I'm, I'm feeling good right now. I'm like, all right, yeah, I'm good. I'm going to put an attack boost on now. Nobody's been scouting me. So 20% attack boost goes on. He's still in that gear. The gear's dodgy as hell. He's got a familiar piece on one of the pieces, right? I'm just waiting for him to put a full mythic set on. I know, right? He's got a familiar cube on one of his accessories. So it feels really fake. It feels really fake, like this gear. Anyway, eight seconds. Look, you got Reigns speeding in from the left. Oh my goodness. Here they come. Look, there's one. There's another one. All right, 10 seconds. Rally's marching. Going to go ahead and put my range gear on. Here we go. I'm marching. He's 428. Still hasn't changed gear. He's still got that familiar thing on. And bang! He's burning! He's burning! Oh my goodness. Now check out the battle report. Have a look at what I hit. <laughs> 17 million troops! Oh my goodness. 1 million red deads. What on earth was that that I just hit? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, guys. Go for it. Look at the troop comp. Look at it. It's a massive infantry reinforcement trap with huge amounts of tier 2 cavalry in range. A 1.3 million tier 4 front line. How on God's earth did I walk away from that? I do not know. I'm guessing he must have been offline. But look, check this. I set another rally straight after. I went, right, go again, go again. I'm going to go range again. Sod it. Go range. Hit. hit go, go, just because I, I walked away from range. So I'm going to go range again. I hit it. And he shields. He shields! He sh <laughs> you shall not pass! No, he shields! He shields on me, right? And it's like, damn, like, was this guy online the whole time? Was there a secret little gear swap in there? I don't know, maybe he wasn't. I'll never know the answer to that question. But either way, I hope it helps you find your own inner lion in Lords Mobile. <laughs> Until the next time, guys, you know how this next bit goes. Stay safe, and of course, peace out.